We are joined by Nikhil from Chennai who is joining us live now on this broadcast. Nikhil, you were there at Marina when MK Stalin was protesting and then he was later detained, pushed into a, a police van. What can you tell us? What What is the mood right now on ground? Well, it clearly was an attempt on his part to, you know, uh, whip up some kind of an emotion and strike a chord of emotion. It was time that he got the people on his side. He saw the kind of groundswell that there was for an OPS. He didn't want to let go of uh, his share of uh, people fame. And that's what he managed to do. At least he got that from the card of his own party. But to what extent will this benefit him politically is still yet to be seen. But the man has come out and said those words once again. Wait and watch and then you'll see. He said this before the floor test as well and then came the drama he's saying it again the government the newly formed ADMK government should brace itself up for the upcoming challenges on issues of law and order and also the possible political disturbances that he might be able to create Back right to Nikhil you. but the fact that he's threatening the uh, the government and the state saying wait and watch just shows that the DMK is not really interested in working for the party or for the for, for the state or for the governance of the state all they want to do is score political brownie points isn't it Well, that's precisely what they did today and I'm not really sure what kind of round, uh, points they scored because there was a chance, there was an opportunity to play some politics, to get some people onto their side and ensure that this particular uh, confirmation of the chief minister in his position would happen. There was a number game that could have worked in their favor had they played their cards right. But the DMK was lost in its own game where 88 of their MLAs just wasted their votes which could have been used in the negative. Surpassing the mark of simple majority in the negative, thus disallowing uh, uh, Palni Sami's uh, confirmation as a chief minister. But none of that was really given uh, thought to. And what they did was absolute theatrics, expressing artful animosity, showing off their tone shirts, accusing the police, accusing the martial force, accusing the speaker and the government of high-handedness. None of that really translates to real impact on the political ground. Yes, it may bring you some uh, admirers. Yes, it may bring you some support. But what really does that work and how, did, how really does that work considering there are four more years of this particular government? Now they found themselves on a stable ground. What will the DMK do now? That's what right. we'll have to wait and watch out for.